All right, so we're still here at the V Twin Visionary Tour, and my shtick is flipping around in weird ways. Are you really using a stick from it's, the yard? It's my shtick. That's good. <laughs> So I told Jeff, oh, now I really screwed it up. But I told Jeff what I did this for is because I forgot my boom mic. Yeah. And all I had was one live lab mic. I didn't even have two to where I could like hook it up for like one-on-one yeah. -on -one interviews. Well, that's very, so I like, went and got a stick and I clipped the uh, lab mic to it. That's so. like North Carolina, Tennessee to the max right there. You're welcome. <laughs> so I'm sitting here with Aaron, right? Did I say yep. it right? Yep. It's not AA Ron? Nope. I wish it was AA Ron, but I get that enough. We can make it AA Ron. We can do that. Yeah, it'll yeah. just be AA Ron it's from now on. Now. And we should we like copyright protect ourselves? That's a key and pill thing. So I don't know if I yeah. have enough money for that part, but yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. just wing it. We'll wing it. But he's from First Manufacturing. They make some really really cool vests, jackets. I mean, other stuff too, right? Yeah, I'm um, working on some like riding jeans. Uh, all of my new jackets and jeans will have um, armor pockets for our CE2 armor. Um, okay, what's CE2? Uh, CE2. See, is, is, most uh, of my viewers know what it is. I'm the idiot, so like you gotta explain it to me. They get it. To kind of dumb it down, it's, there's different different levels of armor, and uh, this the level two armor is of course more. Uh, it's better than the level one, of course, but our level two armor. Uh, will mold to your body as your body temperature like softens up the um, the armor and if you have an impact it'll turn like super hard instantly and keep you from crushing your bone and ripping off your skin so it's like a non-newtonium fluid right exactly in yep. in a pad in a pad. basically yep. it's slick he was showing them to me and if you've ever played around with non-newtonium fluids, I mean, whether you did it with cornstarch or with you, if you actually had like the high level stuff, it's weird because you can squish it and move and you actually have to do a hard, hard impact yeah. before, or like a lot of weight on it exactly. before you feel it like yeah. tense up. It's yeah. really, really weird yeah, you stuff. You can squeeze it completely flat with your fingers, but if you put it on a table and you punch it super hard, it just, it turns rock hard. And then your vest, the majority of them have Kevlar or some of them don't, right? Some of them do have Kevlar. Uh, you can order all of the vests with, with Kevlar in it. Uh, I do. I offer Kevlar stitching on my jackets and vest as well. Uh, so if so you, you only get protected in the little line where the exactly, stitches? Where the right. stitches. It, no, it, it, it's so more if you're getting robbed, you just gotta shoot right, <laughs> shoot right, right there. there, please. I wish it was bulletproof, but no, it's, a, it's just more uh, set up for abrasion uh, if you do go down for a long slide it'll it, the vest the construction should stay together the way it was meant to be yeah and they've got the you called it something but they've got a vest that's very similar to the uh the carhartt like duck pants the real thick khaki yeah. stuff yeah. and that's probably the fa my favorite one of all the ones that's, you had that's a growing freight favorite is for our for our customer base it's a 20 ounce raw uh canvas it's kind of like the same thing that like a circus tent would be made out of right. it's super heavy and if you do go down in the canvas it holds up just as well sometimes in some cases even better than the leather depending right. on the road surface if it's made out of razor blades it's not gonna be good yeah no nobody's in and got something for that it's probably gonna ruin your tires before you actually go down anyway exactly. so and then you just die yeah that's a really yeah. sad road the other cool thing that they do is the the linings that they have on the inside if you go to their website actually here's some pictures of them all kinds of prints artwork if you have custom stuff that you want like that yeah. you drew or your kids drew exactly. you can like put it on there yeah yeah as long as yeah. you if you have photoshop or if you're you know have a if you're a wizard on the computer you can make a design and email it to us and yeah. we can print anything i mean i've done pictures of people's dogs oh, wow. um, we do a lot of uh writing groups especially like military writing groups so um, if you want to put like um, what branch of military you were in in the back and if, you know if you if you lost a loved one we do a lot of in memory prints on the inside of vest as well but sky's the limit as far as that concern. So I know this question is being thought in all five of my viewers. Where do you draw the line on what you'll print inside the vest? I, have, I can't discuss some of the stuff we printed <laughs> but there there isn't a line that we've been afraid to cross yet there you go I just, he just answered the question that i knew y'all were all thinking all four of you because we just lost one viewer when i asked that question that'll, that'll yeah if they want to find out more if they want to order some of the vest the gear the pants the jackets all that stuff mm -hmm. how do they find you uh the website is firstmfg.com or you can always reach me with your crazy questions at firstmfgco on the instagram
Nice. On the Instagram. Not Instagram, the Instagram. It's a different site. But no, it's really cool stuff. Uh, When I bought my cheap Squatch Fest, I actually looked at theirs and I saved money and I regret it. Because, like, holding the one up that I have next to, like, that one, the, the, what do you call that material? The one that I keep saying, the Carhartt stuff. 20 ounce canvas. The 20 ounce canvas. We call it our heavy hitter material. I like that better. Because it's really weird to go, I want the 20 ounce canvas vest. Exactly. But if you go, I want the heavy hitter vest. Exactly. It's like, yeah. You have to give some stuff like cool guy names. So, heavy hitter kind of fit the bill. So, the heavy hitter vest, when I held it up next to mine, it was like I was holding up sweatpants versus Carhartt pants. Exactly. It was really really weird where i thought i had a decently thick blue jean jacket yeah. or black jean jacket technically and it wasn't at yeah. all yeah most so. people if they visit me or visit one of their one of our retailers when they touch our vest it's night and day difference between what they've been riding in yeah. and it's it's kind of almost like an automatic sale i mean you can feel oh, yeah. the quality and you can see the stitching uh the construction is night and day different than the other guys and here's the other thing when I say, you know, I was trying to save some money or it's more expensive or stuff like that, it's not ridiculous. No, it's not. They're not. Because there's some companies out there where you'll look at their vests, their jackets, their jeans, their pants, all that stuff, and you're like, $500 for a vest? Exactly. No. So, I mean, like, so like for instance, the heavy hitter, what, yeah. what would that run? That runs around 140 bucks. Easy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you do any research behind uh, manufacturing, you'll figure out why some brands cost more than others and it really boils down to advertising yeah. so if you have a brand and you're advertising in 15 different magazines you got to pay for that advertising somehow yeah. so you have to jack up the prices so you're basically getting factory direct prices from me and then a lot of clothing brands will attach themselves to a celebrity of some sort. Mm-hmm. Well, then all of a sudden the cost of them paying them $30 million a year goes onto your pants or your exactly. clothes. To where if y'all sponsored me, your cost would probably go down because people wouldn't buy it anymore. Maybe so. like 3% probably. Yeah. Uh, I, it's probably going to be 5 <laughs> Awesome company, uh, really cool stuff. This is not an advertisement. I just saw their stuff and I was like, absolutely, I want to talk about this on video. So yeah, check them out, all the stuff he just said. First manufacturing, Aaron, thank you. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Yep. Thank oh, you. wait, you want to stick? Yeah. No, thanks. Shake hand. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs>